Okay, so problem. Find the moment of inertia of a hello section as shown in figure about an axis passing through its center of gravity or parallel to x axis. Okay, so this section it is divided into two parts. First, it is rectangle part. So red portion it is in rectangle part, and second part it is in circle. Okay, so first of all, can draw the x axis and y axis for this section. You need to draw the x axis and y axis. So this one it is y axis. Then this one it is x axis. X axis and y axis. So first of all calculate CG. CG of this section. That is y bar is equal to y bar is equal to y bar is equal to say actually this first part it is this red portion it is a rectangle part okay so we are deducted this circle part from this rectangle part so that's why y bar is equal to a1 y1 minus a2 y2 okay so we are removing this circle part from the rectangle part that's why we are done here minus a1 y1 minus a2 y2 divided by a1 minus a1 minus a2, a2. Okay. so first of all a1 area of this rectangle part so the area of this rectangle part its width it is 200 200 into 200 into depth it is 300 100 into 300 so area of a1 it will be get 200 into 300 it will be 60 into 10 to the power 3 60 into 10 to the power 3 mm square mm square so this one it is a1 okay then y1 a1 calculate y1 so y1 so it should be measured from the x-axis okay so center of this rectangle okay so total height it is 300, 300 divided by 2, 300 divided by 2. So this one it will be 300 divided by 2, it will be 300 divided by 2. Okay, so write down here by 1 it is 300 divided by divided by 2. By 1 it is 300 divided by 2. Okay, so total depth divided by 2. Okay, so y it is measured from the x axis, that's why it will be. 300 divided by 2 it will be 150 mm. Okay. Then second one it is A2 area of this circle. What is area of our circle formula? It is pi d square divided by 4. So pi into diameter of circle. I will write first formula pi d square pi d square divided by 4. This formula for circle pi d square divided by 4. Okay. So diameter of this circle it is 150 m. Okay. This one it is given. Diameter of circle it is 150 m. Okay. See here. Is equal to is equal to pi into pi into diameter of circle it is 150 m. 150 square. 150 square divided by 4. 150 square divided by 4. 4. So it will get pi into 150 square divided by 4. So it will be 17.671. into 10 to the power 10 to the power 3 mm square mm square so this one it is circle area of circular portion okay then y2 now y2 y2 it will be measured from the this one it is first of all we need to add this portion okay so this one it is located circle at this distance okay means actually this one it is 100 mm from the center okay 100 mm from the center so we need to this distance actual okay 
So total is depth height it is 300. Okay, from top height it is 100. So 300 minus 100, it will get this distance. Okay, 300 minus 100. So this distance it is 300 minus 100. Okay, 300 minus 100. I will write here 300 minus 100. So it will be 200 m. 200 m. Okay. So now put all these value. It will be get y bar for the relation. So a one it is 60 into 10 raised to the power 3. 60 into 10 raised to the power 3 into y one it will be 150 m. Then minus a two it is 17.671 into 10 raised to the power 10 raised to the power 3 into into y2 it is 200 m 200 m divided by divided by divided by a1 minus a2 a1 minus a2 so a1 it is again 60 into 10 raised to the power 3 minus a2 it is 17.671 into 10 to the power 3. Okay. So from this relation it will get y bar value. Okay. So y bar is equal to write down y bar is equal to y bar is equal to y bar is equal to so 60 into 60 into 10 raised to the power 3 into 150 and minus 17.671 into 10 raised to the power 3 into 200 divided by 60 divided by 60 into 10 raised to the power 3 minus 17.671 into 10 to the power 3. It will be 129.126. 129.126 mm. Okay. So this one it is y bar. Okay. So just note on this note on this value. Y bar is equal to 129.126 mm. Okay. So now moment of inertia, calculate moment of inertia about x axis. Right on moment of inertia, moment of inertia, moment of inertia about x axis about x x axis. X -X -X. Okay. So I X X is equal to I X X is equal to I X X one plus I X X two. Okay. So first of all, I X X one it is for rectangle. For rectangle, for rectangle this is I X X one. Okay. I X X one. Okay. So I X X one is equal to right on. I X X one is equal to I G one parallel axis. That's for the parallel axis. I G one, I G one plus A one H one square, A one H one square, A one H one square. This one it is as per the parallel axis theorem. Okay, so I G one it is P D cube by twelve. See, I will write here I G one is equal to here. So P D cube by twelve. So B into D cube. B D cube divided by twelve. B D cube divided by twelve. Okay. B D cube divided by twelve. So which one it is B here? B it is two hundred. B is equal to it is two hundred m mm. and D it is three hundred m. Three hundred m. So I will write here. X X one is equal to I G one it is two hundred into three hundred cap three means three hundred cube 
divided by divided by 12 divided by 12 12 plus plus a, a1 it is a1 we are calculated it is 60 into 16 standard to the power 3 into h1 now h1 we need to calculate so i will explain here h1 it is so h1 is equal to h1 is equal to this y bar minus y bar. h1 it is y bar minus y bar. h1 it is y bar minus y bar. so y bar it is how much y bar it is 129.126 minus y1 it is 150m y1 it is 150m so 126.1 129.126 minus 150. It will get minus 20.874. Minus 20.874. Oh, so this one it is H1. Okay, this value it is H1. Okay, so H1 it is H1 square. That is means minus 20.874. 874 bracket square. Okay. If you done minus square, so it will get automatically h1 value, it will be a plus value. Okay. So now we will write here. So ixx1, we can use it from this relation. ixx1. So ixx1 is equal to 200 into 300 cap 3 divided by 12 plus. 60 into 10 to the power 3 into 20 point into 20.874 square okay so actually when we done square this value it will be get plus value so from this relation ixx1 it will be get 476 476.1431 one three into 10 raised to the power 6 mm raised to 4 mm raised to 4 6 mm raised to 4 this one it is ix61 this one it is ix61 okay so now calculate i1 ix62 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 is equal to it is ig2 ig2 plus a2 h2 square a2 h2 square so ig2 it is so we'll write here i so ig2 so otherwise you can write here this no problem okay ig2 is equal to ig2 is equal to Pi, pi into moment of inertia for circle it is pi d raised to pi d raised to 4 divided by pi d raised to 4 divided by 64 this one it is formula for moment of inertia for circle okay pi d raised to 4 divided by 64 okay so pi it will be how much pi it will be pi into pi into diameter it is 150 diameter it is into 150 square m 150 raised to 4 sorry m 150 raised to 4 divided by divided by 64 divided by 64 64 so from this relation we get ig2 value ig2 is equal to Shift pi into 150 raised to 4 divided by 64. That is 24.850. 24.850 into 10 raised to the power 10 raised to the power 6 mm raised to 4 mm raised to 4. So this one it is IG2 value. Okay. IG2 value. So now 
ixx2 is equal to ixx2 is equal to ig2 it is ig2 it is 24.850850 into 10 to the power 6 then plus a2 it is a2 it is calculated a2 value it is how much it is 17.671 17.671 into 10 to the power 3 10 to the power 3 10 to the power 3 into h1 square okay so h1 value you will write here sorry h2 value here. so now h2 is equal to right h2 is equal to it will be y bar minus h2 is equal to y bar minus y bar minus y2 y bar minus y2 so y bar it will be 129.126 minus y2 it will be y2 it is 200 200 from this relation it will get h2 value so write down h2 is equal to h2 is equal to 129.126 minus 200 so it will be minus 70.874 minus 70.874 okay i can write on so in bracket minus 70.874 bracket square okay so if you then minus square so it will get this value automatically plus okay so it will get ixx2 from this relate ixx2 is equal to 24.850 into 10 to the power 3 sorry 10 to the power 6 plus 17.671 into 10 to the power 3 into 70.874 square. So from this relation, 113.613.613 into 10 to the power 3. Sorry, 10 to the power 6. 10 to the power 6. 10 to the power 6. Mm rest 4. Mm rest 4. Okay. Mm rest 4. So this unit is IX62. So now calculate total moment of inertia. Total moment of inertia that is IXX is equal to IXX is equal to IXX1 minus IXX2. IXX2. So IXX1 it will be 476.4 four three into ten to the power six minus x x two it is one one three point six one three into ten to the power six ten to the power six i x x is equal to four seventy six point one four three into ten to the power six minus 113.7613 into 10 to the power 6. So it will get 362.362.529 into 10 to the power 6 mm rest 4. So this is total moment of energy. Okay. Total moment of energy. Okay. This is your final answer. Okay. Question was question was find the moment of inertia of hello section. So hello section means this from this rectangle section we have deducted this circle. Okay. So net moment of inertia it is 362.529 into 10 to the power 6 m in rest 4. Okay. 